Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tamlin and this is Sewn on the Tyne and this is going to be maybe the quickest unboxing ever. I have approximately eight minutes before I have to leave for work so let's see if we can do it. I'm going to unbox this month's, so March's 2024 So Hayley Jane subscription box and I've got a couple of other bits to show you as well. So let's just dive straight in, shall we? This is the classic box, which costs £40 per month. You get fabric, two lots of fabric, actually. You get a magazine with loads of inspiration. You get a sweet treat. You get an item from a small business. You get a haberdashery item and you get a matching thread. So let's get into it. I think... Mine got a bit chewed up in the post. <laughs> you just have a little look here. Yellow tissue paper always greets you when you open the box. And then this month's theme is Elevate. So you've got this gorgeous artwork on the front and I love the colour of that swirl. So Hayley starts off by explaining where the inspiration comes from. So she's talking about elevating your sewing and style, taking it to a higher standard, those extra little details and finishing touches to elevate your makes. So there's an interview with Merchant and Mills because they provide one of the items that's in this month's box. There's a feature all about the Stitch Festival which is really exciting because I'm going next week. I can't wait. I'm a little bit apprehensive about how busy it's going to be but I'm just going to embrace it. My girls have got me anyway. Ruan and Rachel will look after me so I'm absolutely fine. Then I did a little feature here all about different patterns that have just a little bit of something different about them. So elevated patterns with a with a little extra detail. So the sagebrush top, for example, with that little frill across the front. And you could use your additional fabric to add the little finishing touch or the extra detail on all of these patterns. The make of the month is beautiful Mary Ellen, who's used the viscose jersey from a few months ago to make this stunning dress. I've got a kilo wrap dress cut out in that. Must get round to making it at some point. Now, I'm in love with these. Esther has sewn up the luxury box fabric, which is a linen cotton blend, into this amazing pair of Winslow Colottes. And what a gorgeous colour of top to pair with it. Just, yeah, loving that look, Esther. Gemma has used the classic fabric, so I just won't show you that for now. And Laura has used the additional fabric, so again, I'll keep that a little secret. I've then written another article for the magazine and it's all about some fashion trends for spring summer 2024 and maybe how you could incorporate a little bit of them into your wardrobe. I don't tend to follow trends. I never go high street shopping. I don't really do online shopping unless it's for fabric and patterns. So it was really interesting to have a little look at what trends are out there at the moment and how we could take a bit of inspiration from them. Hayley's little links talk about some things she's loving, like books, TV series, and then we've got the Makers Gallery full of gorgeous inspiration for what to do with your fabrics. There is a profile of the month, and this month it is Steffi, who's made some absolutely beautiful makes with some of the previous fabrics. And then some pattern picks from the fold line. The Jenna shirt is one of them, and... I've got that to sew up very soon. Ideally, I wanted to get it sewn up for the Stitch Festival, but I don't know if that's going to happen. And then you have your what's in the box and a planning sheet at the back. So this month's sweet treat is some Little Werther's Originals, which are an oldie but a goodie, a classic. This small business item is a lovely metal sewing gauge from Merchant and Mills. So that'll be really handy for measuring hems and things like that. The haberdashery item is some lovely satin bias binding. Now that is to use probably with this month's additional fabric. And that is this stunning, like retro style satin, which just feels incredible. I love the colours in that. It's beautiful. I really want to make a little top in this. I haven't decided which top yet. Maybe a little camisole top but I absolutely love it. If you've got top recommendations for one meter of lovely satin drapey fabric, then do let me know down below. I think that'll really suit me because those colors are right up my street. Then the main fabric this month. So Hayley went with plain fabrics, which is really cool. I love that she's done that. And the classic and mini fabric this month is a chambray. So just a really classic denim blue cotton chambray which is going to be really really useful and you got the matching thread to go with that as well so i 
want to make a pair of trousers with my chambray I think although a denim shirt is tempting I do want to make a pair of trousers and the trousers I want to make are the so liberated chanterelle trousers so I've talked about this pattern before I've actually put them into my make nine but it was the high-waisted wide leg version that I wanted to make in my make nine I think this chambray will make a really gorgeous pair of the barrel legged versions so the version which is sort of wider but then they taper down into a smaller cuff I think that will be really beautiful in this chambray so that is my plan the so liberated chanterelle pants and I think they will be gorgeous. So what Gemma made with the chambray was actually a pair of trousers. That is the Atlas trousers by Stitched in Wonderland. And then Laura made the most stunning Bella Loves Patterns Benny vest, which is a little waistcoat. And she lined it with the additional fabric. So such gorgeous ideas. So that's this month's box. Another absolute cracker. I love it. Just remember, if you want to get your first month's box, at a little discount then you can subscribe using the code tamlin10 and it will get you 10% off your first box whichever level you subscribe at and I will get a little affiliate payment for that which is really lovely so a couple of other things to share with you in the luxury boxes there was a sewing pattern and it was this one the latest Tilly in the buttons pattern the Thea trousers and I asked Hayley if she had any spare if she could pop one in for me because I really want to make them I want to make this version here the cropped version I just think they are absolutely gorgeous and I watched Ruan's unboxing and she got the luxury box and is planning on making these so I'm going to see if we can do it as a little sew along together and encourage each other to get them done. Then the other thing that has arrived through the post is my latest bias tape subscription from the Specky Seamstress and I just wanted to share the design with you. She's revealed the design over on Instagram now so I can share it with you but don't look if you haven't received yours yet but it is this lovely made with love and mistakes bias tape with this heart with little sewing like stitches around the outside which is really cute. And then I also received but I can't show you a little preview of Laura's new subscription, which is called the Label Collective. So this is a little leaflet that came with it. It says a new woven label subscription box from the Specky Seamstress. So you can do it as a one-off, you can do it as a rolling subscription, you can do it as a six month special offer. And if you already get the bias tape subscription, then you get a little discount as well. You can combine them and she ships worldwide. So that is awesome. And there are two designs of label four smaller labels and then three larger labels in two different designs and they're gorgeous I really love them so I would recommend getting that if you want to treat yourself to something a little bit small but lovely to come through the post I will link to everything down below and I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I've shared with you today if you've got any suggestions for what I should do with that meter of additional fabric then do let me know but I absolutely love it and want to get it sewn up soon. I hope you're all doing really well. If you've enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up and I'll see you again soon in my next one. Happy sewing. Bye. Do you get a habitation? Habitationary? <laughs> you get a habit. How, how do you say that word? Yellow tissue. Trying to rush and that's not good.